All right, welcome back to another Workout Wednesday video. This week it's not going to be about working out at all. It's going to be a lot about nutrition and then really how it affects your performance on daily life and whatever physical activities you're doing. So first off, we got to take a step back and think about what food means because in the last decade or two, you know, we got completely off on what it means. Food is 100% fuel for the body. It's literally measured in a measurement of heat. Calories is a unit of heat. So when you think about what you're putting in yourself, you need it to be as high quality as possible. Um, things like fast food, anything that's made, not naturally, and is something that's made in a few minutes for you, going to be a high quality source of food? The answer is no, it's not. And... Basically what we're going to talk about right now is a few things you can do to work on getting higher quality sources of food for yourself and why it affects your performance. Alright, so first off, something that everyone already really knows is that we need to drink more water. You know, you should be drinking water in the morning before you eat and before you have coffee or anything caffeinated and throughout the day. Why? Because our bodies are made up of 60 to 65% water in almost every bodily function down to the cellular level uses energy uses water you're going to be feeling sluggish you're going to get dehydrated which could cause plenty of other problems for you so you need to drink water how to get higher quality sources of food anything from the planet that you can get whether it be vegetables fruits potatoes any meats that come from you know animals that are on the planet is going to be a higher quality source of fuel for your body there's plenty of reasons for that I'm not going to get into it, but it's going to be way better for you than anything manufactured by man, anything processed. So why is that? Everything has a macronutrient. Every food has macronutrients. It's fats, carbs, and proteins. They make up calories. So every food has macronutrients and micronutrients. Micronutrients are vitamins and minerals like potassium, vitamin C, and you're going to want a little bit of both macro and micronutrients. Okay, there is a lot of superfoods, and what a superfood is, is where it has a good high quality amount of macronutrients, calories, and it also has a ton of micronutrients that you know you can't get from other places. So you're getting all in one in these superfoods. So I'm going to give you a list of 10 superfoods that I'm telling you you want to have in your diet. It's going to make you feel better, it's going to make you run better, and when you're exercising, and doing any sort of physical activity, it's gonna help you recover and help you perform better. So the top 10 superfoods that I have here are one, berries, including especially blueberries and red raspberries. I got salad and sardines, okay? Fish has a ton of omega-3s that are good for heart health, joint health, basically your whole body. So fish, Salmon, sardines, also spinach is a superfood. Um, a lot of nuts have a ton of high... Nuts is a good example because it has high fat. You think high fat is bad, but no, it's a superfood because it has a ton of micronutrients and other things that are going to help your body. Another superfood, beans. Perfect example because it has a fairly low amount of calories. It has fiber and it has a ton of other things that are going to be helping you. Quinoa is another one, one of the best carbohydrate sources you can have. Sweet potatoes, my personal favorite. I have a sweet potato every day, at least, because sweet potatoes, one of the second best carbs, I'd have to say, other than quinoa. It has three times the potassium as a banana and three times the vitamin C as an orange. So it's a superfood. It just gives you so much. Broccoli is another one. Coconut oil, cooking with coconut oil is beneficial for so many reasons. It's a superfood. It it's another one that has a lot of fat, but is going to help you melt fat because of how much beneficial properties it has. And the last one is avocados, another good example of a high fat food that has so many benefits to it that you need to have it in your diet. Okay. So with all that said, it's hard to maintain a good diet in this world that we live in now. It's brutal and it's unfair, but you gotta make small changes to your life, to your diet that is gonna overall help your performance, help your recovery. 
help your daily living, help you make feel better. If you're feeling better throughout the day, you're going to perform better in overall life. All right. So I'm I'm eating some food right now. It's uh I made eggs and whenever I make any food, I like to, you know, spice it up with and flavor it up with good things. So I got like peppers, red and green. I got onions in here. I put uh pesto for the first time, which was phenomenal. So I'm finishing up this meal. I'll show you what it looks like right here. It's pretty tasty. Eating good doesn't have to be terrible, okay? So mess around with it. And another thing, just making good food takes a little bit of practice. First time I made chicken, boy, it was terrible. I almost, I don't even think I finished it. But, you know, I've probably made chicken 100 times since then, and now it's always good. So, you know, stick with it. Make those little changes and start getting healthier.